Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a one brand makeup tutorial. It's from Vatten Italy, India. I have used all their products right from foundation to lipstick. So let's begin with the makeup. Okay, I'm starting off with the foundation base here. I have used Match Perfection foundation. Shade and everything will be mentioned in the description box. First, I'll be applying this product using a flat brush and then I'll be blending it out using a sponge. So this foundation has medium coverage and it also settles in a velvet matte finish which I really like so oil skin people will really end up liking this foundation. For dry skin you have to moisturize your face really well then you can apply this. Now I don't have concealer so I'm going to use this foundation as my concealer since it gives matte finish and also it's creamy thick in consistency it works great as concealer as well. First I'm applying it using a flat brush and then I'll be blending it out using a sponge. Now to set my base I'm using this powder foundation and it also comes with a sponge. Now I'm going to use a tiny brush to apply it under my eye and also using a, a big brush to apply it on my face. Now I'm going to do my eye makeup then I'll be coming back to face makeup. So I'm going to use this eyeshadow as my eyebrow powder. So I'm going to mix those two shades and I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. It gave me natural looking yet filled in brows. Uh, I really end up liking how it looked. So it just works like a two in one product. Now for my eyeshadow, I'm going to take that grey tone shade on a blending brush and applying that on the crease area. So today we are going to create a very simple kind of a glam look. So that's what I'm aiming it for. So I'm just going to apply uh, that shade. Now I'm going to take the deep shade, the more kind of shade and I'm going to put that onto my crease to create some depth. Now taking the peach tone kind of shade, by the way these are very pigmented. Then I'm going to put that again on my crease area just to kind of give a transition ombre effect. Doing it on my both eyes. Now I'm going to take this highlighter. Yes, this is an highlighter but I'm going to apply it as an eyeshadow onto my center lid. First applying it with my finger then blending it out using a brush. So it just gives a nice 3D effect. Now taking that black eyeshadow and concentrating that color onto my outer corner and by the way this black has a little bit of glitter. So these are overspray glitter so it does not really come as a glitter black eyeshadow. They are matte. This kind of a subtle glam look now. Now moving on to the liner I'm going to use this dip eyeliner and I'm going to create a wing eyeliner. Next step I'm going to take this cold pencil which is in black color. I'm going to put that onto my waterline. I'm going to apply that and also pulling that down onto my lower lash line as well. I'm going to apply this mascara. It's a volume explosion mascara. It gives really good volume. It separates my lashes and also it kind of lengthens my lashes as well. But it is kind of a little bit of dry uh, mascara but still uh, I love the effect it gave me. Next I'm going to uh, use this bronzer slash contour. It's in the shade Hermosa. Oh my god it's already so pigmented. I just used angular brush to apply it. Then I used my powder brush to blend it out. It is amazing. And then I contoured a little bit on my forehead. And also nose contour. This is my favorite for nose contour because it has a little bit of warmth and cool in it. So it's kind of a neutral bronzer. And I just loved how chiseled my nose looked after this nose contouring. It's just one great bronzer but it's very pigmented so you have to use it very carefully. Next I'm going to use this blush and it's also very pigmented. I'm going to take it in a very light way and I'm going to apply it on my apples of cheeks. Next for highlighter I'm using the same highlighter that we applied as an eyeshadow and applying that onto my high cheekbones. Now this has a very subtle finish to it. But you can keep building it up to get the desired highlighting effect. It has a little bit of champagne with hint of pink to it. Next for my lips, I'm going to use this French matte lipstick in shade matte too. I'm going to line my lips using this lipstick first then I'm going to fill it in. Every product that I used in this video it's mentioned in the description box so make sure to check it out. 
that's it for the video guys i hope you all enjoyed this tutorial if you really did then do like comment and subscribe to my channel and do follow me on my instagram i'll see you guys soon in my next video till then take care bye